For most of human history, death rarely came suddenly. But there is one disease that doctors have long described as one of the most terrifying ways the human body can fail. Not because it was violent, not because it struck instantly, but because it unfolded slowly while the mind stayed awake. For days, sometimes weeks, nothing seemed wrong. The bite healed, the wound closed, life went on. Then it began, not with pain, but with unease, a mild headache, a low fever, a strange sense of restlessness that couldn't be explained. Sleep became difficult, thoughts raced. Anxiety crept in for no obvious reason. At first, it was easy to dismiss. Then the body started to rebel. Muscles twitched uncontrollably. Swallowing felt wrong, like the throat refused to cooperate. Even small sips of water triggered spasms so violent they caused panic. The fear wasn't imagined. The nervous system was being attacked directly. As the virus spread through the brain, confusion set in. Sounds felt overwhelming. Light became unbearable. The body reacted as if it were constantly under threat. Locked in permanent fight or flight, breathing grew erratic. The heart pounded unpredictably. Hallucinations blurred the line between reality and terror. But the mind remained painfully aware. Victims knew something was deeply wrong. They could feel themselves slipping, yet were trapped inside their own bodies. Doctors could do nothing. Once symptoms appeared, treatment no longer worked. There were no machines that could stop it. No medications that could reverse the damage. They could only restrain the patient and wait. As hours turned into days, the brain swelled. Nerves misfired. Paralysis crept upward through the body. Eventually, breathing failed. Not suddenly. Not peacefully. Just exhaustion. As the nervous system shut down one function at a time. And the cause of this slow, conscious descent into terror was rabies. A disease that is nearly 100% fatal. Once symptoms begin, a virus so cruel that survival depends entirely on acting, before you ever realize you're sick, 